We're thinking of those killed and hurt in that terrible accident at the Ohio State Fair. And such a scary moment for all the family mm -hmm. there. And these are fairs that a lot of us have attended over sure. the years. And there are so many of these fairs that are still going on across the country. Yeah, this was the first day of the Ohio State Fair when that popular fireball ride broke apart in midair. You see it right there. This one person was killed, as Robin said, seven others injured. This morning, all rides at the Ohio State Fair are shut down. ABC's Alex Perez is on the scene in Columbus with the latest. Good morning, Alex. Good morning, George. Authorities have been here through the night. There's still a lot of unanswered questions. It was a beautiful day. Families were out when suddenly everything turned into a living nightmare. Overnight, a horrifying crash at the Ohio State Fair on a ride called the Fireball. Listen as the swinging ride begins to break apart. At least two riders thrown at high speeds through the air. One found 50 feet from the ride. A full car of the ride coming off. This video posted to social media captured the terrifying incident. Seven people injured, five in critical condition, and an 18-year-old man killed. Bystanders and first responders rushing to aid the injured. They need help. Somebody's up there on the ride. Police and investigators quickly shutting the fair down. We will begin an investigation on this to determine what the failure was, if any, and how this accident occurred. The Ohio State Fair was scheduled to run until August 6th. Last year, it attracted nearly 1 million visitors. But now, Ohio's governor, John Kasich, ordering all rides closed until the investigation is complete and additional safety inspections can be conducted. The fair is about the best things in life, and with this accident, it becomes a terrible, terrible tragedy. ABC station WSYX was with inspectors before the fair opened. We will periodically do spot checks just to ensure all that stuff is in place. Overnight in California, the Orange County Fair shutting down a ride similar to the fireball as a precaution. This morning, investigators examining this terrifying video for answers about what caused this terrible tragedy. We're really, really shocked because I think they do take really good care in trying to prevent this kind of thing. And inspections records show ins the ride passed all inspections uh, yesterday. The fair will be open today, but all rides will remain shut down until investigators can pinpoint what exactly went wrong here. Robin? All right, Alex, thank you. And joining us now in an ABC News exclusive is Julian Bellinger, who was on the ground during the accident, caught that terrifying moment on camera. Julian, thank you very much for being with us. We're thinking about everybody who was impacted by what happened, that terrible accident yesterday. Tell us what, what you saw, what happened. Um, so on the ground, it was me and my friends. We were just recording each other on Snapchat and uh, we had deleted the video because we heard like commotion on the on the ride and it was people on the ride like slow it down it's too fast and all this so people on the ground like beside me and in front of me in line because i was about to get on the ride they all were like whoa 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 slow it down slow it down and all that so the people that were working it had pressed the emergency brake and in the video you see it go up and then when it came back down, a piece had fell. So then that's when I had followed it up. And then when I just seen the people like fall out, I had turned my head and I just, it was, I couldn't watch it. All right, and we are not even showing all of that video as well, Julian. It is just, uh, it, it's too much for people mm -hmm. to see. And then for you to be there, you were in line waiting to get on that yeah. ride and you, and you heard people yelling to, to for the operator to slow it down you heard that yeah well yeah I heard some like I heard people in front of me in line and then after the fact I talked to them and they were like yeah people on the ride just couldn't take it anymore because I guess they had sped it up what happened once you saw that accident what did people do at that point people were like running away crying um, yeah it was you just don't expect to see stuff like that, especially at the fair here. No, not, not at all. That's, not, that's the last thing that you expect to watch or, or to see. So how, how, are, how are you doing this morning, having, having witnessed something like that, Julian? I'm doing fine. After it, I was a little shook up, but then like I ended up like calming down, talking to my parents and all that. So I was, I was fine for the most part. Just, well, uh, 
hope the families and all that are okay. Yes, and we're thinking of those families. You're a fine young man. Thank you very much, Julian, and you take care. And again, our, our hearts and prayers to all you those too. impacted by what happened. Yep. All right, take care, Julian. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, even in that moment, he was thinking of, of the families that were impacted, but I can only imagine being, as we said, we've, I'm sure people watching, we go to these things all the time. Last thing you would expect to happen. Yeah. So sad.